Hi, my name is Brian Collin, and today's topic is on the theories of emotion. Click on the link in this description to take a practice test that I created using the Learn My Test study tool. Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests. If you don't have good practice tests, make your own and learn while you do it, or search our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. Sign up for free at LearnMyTest.com. To begin this discussion, let's assume that you are camping with a friend and a bear stumbles upon your campsite. You are afraid for your life that the bear might attack you. The James Lang theory argues that you first notice the stimulus, which in your case would be seeing a bear at your campsite. Then because you see the bear at your campsite, you start having physiological responses. Your heart starts beating really fast and you start sweating. So because you are sweating and your heart starts beating quickly, you realize that you are scared. The James Lang theory argues that emotions such as feeling fear are a result of how your body responds to a stimulus. So in essence, it's saying that you feel fear because you start sweating and your heart starts beating fast. Do you really think that you feel fear because your heart starts beating fast or because you start sweating? So if you're playing a sport and have the same physiological response, does that mean you're going to experience fear? Maybe, maybe not, which is why the James Lang theory is not one of the more accepted theories on emotions. The Cannon Bard theory argues that you first see the stimulus or notice the stimulus. So in your case would be seeing a bear at your campsite. Then you experience the physiological response, such as sweating and your heart beating rapidly. At the same exact time, you also experience the emotion. So in your case at the campsite, the emotion would be feeling fear. So the Cannon Bard theory argues that you experience the physiological response and the emotion at the same time. Unlike the James Lang theory, the Cannon Bard theory does not indicate that you feel an emotion because you have a physiological response. Do you agree with the Cannon Bard theory? Why or why not? The Schachter Singer theory argues that you first see the stimulus. So in your case would be seeing a bear at your campsite. Then you have your physiological response. So your heart starts beating fast and you start sweating. Schachter Singer argued that at the same time as your physiological response, you would appraise the situation, which meant identifying the stimulus and understanding why it has led you to feel that emotion. So in your example, there is a bear in, at my campsite that could attack me or hurt me, and therefore I'm scared. So as a result of both your physiological response and your cognitive appraisal of the situation, you experience the emotion, which in your case would be fear. So what do you think about the Schachter Singer theory? Do you think it's a better or worse theory than the Cannon Bard or James Lang theory? The Lazarus cognitive mediational theory argues that you first see the stimulus. So in your case would be seeing a bear at your campsite. Then you have a cognitive appraisal of the situation and understand why it may cause a particular emotion. So in your case, you might think there's a bear that could attack or hurt me. Therefore, I'm scared. Then because you appraise the situation, you feel the emotion. So essentially, because you recognize that the bear is present and is a threat to you, you experience the emotion of fear. Then, as a result of you experiencing the emotion, you have a physical response. So in your case, because you feel fear, your heart starts beating quickly and you start sweating. So what do you think of Lazarus's cognitive mediational theory? Do you think it's better than the others? Why or why not? So let's review. The James Lang theory of emotion suggests that emotions are caused by physiological responses to a stressor. The Cannon Bard theory of emotion suggests that you respond emotionally to a stressor at the same time the physiological changes in your body happen. The Schachter Singer theory argues that after responding to a stressor, 
you appraise the threat at the same time as changes happen in your body, such as sweating and increased heart rate, which leads you to feel the emotion. Lazarus's cognitive mediational theory argues that after being exposed to a stressor, you appraise the threat, then you feel the emotion, and then because you feel the emotion, you have a physiological response, such as heart, increased heart rate and sweating. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date on our most recent videos. Click on the link in the description to take a practice test that I made using the Learn My Test study tool. It's on the content from our videos. Remember, the best way to study is to take practice tests. If you can't find good practice tests, build your own using the Learn My Test study tool or check out our growing list of test banks for one in your field of study. Sign up for free at learnmytest.com.